Hello, my name is Terry McDonald, Lead Educational Developer within CBU's Center for Teaching and Learning. I'm going to talk a bit about effective online synchronous teaching. To begin, you'll need to consider equipment and software. You will need a camera and a microphone. A simple webcam will suffice for your online classes. However, if you have something a bit fancier like a DSLR, you could look at repurposing it as a webcam. For the best audio experience, you want a dedicated microphone. While your webcam may have a mic integrated, a USB headset with an integrated mic like this one will provide a simple setup that will be superior to the analog earbuds or a uh, system mic on your computer. In terms of software for running your class meetings, there are many options. You will want to consider how your students are accessing your meeting, trying to minimize the number of times they're being asked to log in and provide credentials to access the online platforms. Consider using the platform that is integrated with their university account and or the university's primary asynchronous learning management system. At Cape Breton University, faculty and students have a Microsoft 365 account with access to Microsoft Teams, so they can use their existing login to access classes held through Teams as opposed to other platforms like Zoom or Adobe Connect. This means that students can meet with you and classmates without needing to create a new account. For live synchronous classes, you need to consider what exactly you will be doing. Why have you brought everyone together? Try to make the best use of everyone's time by creating an interactive experience. Just like the, the traditional classroom, students may be a bit shy to interact with classmates and the instructor during your online sessions. Having students participate in some community building activities early on in your courses can pay off later as students will feel more comfortable and fully engage with your content. You can have students introduce themselves in small groups within your synchronous session or ask them to post an intro through the learning management system. During your presentations, make sure you have students engaged by asking them to do things. It doesn't always need to be complicated, but Try to pause every five minutes or so to, to at least ask a question or have students participate in a polling activity or even interact in small groups for a portion of the class. You can use breakout rooms to push students into random groups for a specific task or establish more consistent groups and private channels to allow groups to build relationships over the full term. If you define groups through the learning management system, you should mirror these settings within your synchronous classroom. My overall advice for your online classroom, whether it's synchronous or asynchronous, is to ensure everyone knows what is expected of them. Your students should be able to quickly identify and answer to the question, what am I supposed to be doing right now?